What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, I can't believe it. Whew. If you don't know, well now you know. Gymshark is releasing new adapt pieces tomorrow, September 24th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am in just, it, there's no words right now because if you've been watching my channel for a while and you saw my battle of the Gymshark leggings, you know the Adapt is my favorite. Hands down, number one, my ride or die leg. So when I found out that they were coming out with new like patterns, designs, all that good stuff, not only in the camo, but the animal and the moral, I'm just like, I'm freaking out right now. I think this is the highlight of my entire year, for sure. So I'm coming at you guys, of course, with a full detailed review and try on what's to be expected for tomorrow's launch. So a massive thank you to Gymshark for sending out these pieces early so that I could share them with my baby girls. Oh, we got some chit chat to do. Let's go. Oh, and you already know the drill, like, yeah, follow me on Instagram and subscribe and all that good stuff. So come on, let's go, we gotta go. Alright guys, so as always, my measurements will be down below. Everything you see today is in a size small. My true to size size. And I'll tell you right now, everything is true to size, as usual. As soon as these officially launch, I will have each individual item linked down below for your convenience. So for those who are unfamiliar with the Adapt collection from Gymshark, it pretty much consists of different styles, different designs under one umbrella family, which is Adapt. So you got the animal, the camo, the moral, and the ombre. So today we are covering the new launch for tomorrow, which is the animal, the moral, and the camo. Not the ombre yet. Something worth noting is everything in tomorrow's launch is the same material, same fit, same type of style, same compression and everything as their other previous pieces. The only differences are gonna be the colors and the camo has different logo placement, different jacquard design, things like that. But the overall fit is exactly the same. All right, so first we're gonna start with my absolute favorite from the Adapt family, and that's the camo. Oh, ooh, the Subsidian Green, I, I just, Am I about to cry? <laughs> so I don't really think I could put into words how obsessed I am with this obsidian green. If you saw my previous hauls recently, like in the past like month or two, you would see every single time they come out with anything obsidian green, I'm getting it. This is like a really nice rich hunter green. It's so full, I'm living for it. So when camo does obsidian green, huh. So tomorrow's launch, you can expect to see the new obsidian green, a lunar blue and black color. My absolute favorite thing when it comes to their leggings is the scrunch, the subtle scrunch butt that they have. It's almost like undetectable scrunch butt. And I really appreciate that because I hate obnoxious scrunches where it's like you're telling the world like, yeah, I need help in that department. Here's my scrunch butt. This is so subtle that it's like, it looks natural. Thank you, yes. So you have the high waist, you have obviously this entire collection as a whole is seamless, which I'm obsessed with that. The length is about a 20, I would say probably 22, 23 inch inseam, which fits me five foot three, absolutely perfect. It's not too short, it's not long, it's right there on me, so yep. We also have a really comfortable gusset. The material is made out of 79% polyamide, 15% polyester, and 6% spandex. So you really do have a beautiful stretch, and the polyamide is such a luxurious feel. It is nice and durable. You still have the wicking properties, and it has like a really like softer vibe to it. So it's not like that rugged, ruggedy kind of activewear material. It is very, very luxurious, so it's super comfortable to wear. You do have the ribbed waistband, which is perfection to me. It's about the four to five inch waistband. So this has everything I like in a legging. The new camo print, I have to say, it's really neat looking. It kind of reminds me of just earth in general, like cracked earth. It is a little bit different than their older camo design in the sense that it's a lot sharper looking. It looks real sleek 
and controlled. And I really do like this little upgrade that they did. It's like the 2.0 and I'm all about it and I'm for it. You will also notice that they have a little bit of a different logo as their older camo. You have the sleek little white contrasted printed logo running down your left hip that says Gymshark written out. Whereas the older camo leggings just kind of had it seamlessly like throughout where it was kind of undetectable in a way. I also love the fact that since they are seamless, I have zero problems with the dreaded CT, the camel toe nation. Ooh, and one of my absolute favorite features that I noticed a really big difference is the older camo. The actual camo print stopped at the band and then it was just a solid band. Whereas the new jacquard look, it rises all the way up throughout the band. So the entire legging is the print. I love it. They, they didn't skimp, they went all up and everywhere on this one. And even with the sports bras, it's the same deal. So this little ribbed band down here is not solid. You have the print that goes extended all the way down. It gives more of just a nice, sleek, unified look throughout. So when you're wearing this as a set, I personally find it to be a little bit more flattering having the design running straight throughout rather than broken up a bit with solid strips and pieces. So, and of course these are on me 100% squat proof. I personally have never tried on a camo that was not squat proof. Um, and especially with these darker designs, you are good to go. These sports bra. Huh. So first of all, the leggings, they are perfect when it comes to making your peach extra peachy or a peach in general because I don't, I struggle in that department. I don't know about you, girl, but if that ain't enough, they literally made the perfect sports bra for a gal that just needs some help here too, because I'm sorry, you know, I want to look good. I want to look cute when working out so I can feel myself. I want to look in the mirror and feel myself. So this sports bra, this beautiful crossover sports bra, is so gorgeous because it's still safe and secure. It is medium support, just like their leggings are medium compression. You still have that medium support, but boy, do they perk up the babies. Like they just make them, I look like I went up a couple bra sizes or like I got like surgery. But the truth is, it's just my Gymshark camo seamless bra, all right? You have the really cool front wrap in the design, which is badass in my opinion. You have the really intricate crossover back as well. It's beautiful, it's like racer back, but it's got like highway action going on. Like, woo, it's overlapping, it's gorgeous. And of course there are removable bra pads inside. Overall, I love the support of this because it is a nice medium support, holds the girls real nice, but it's not one of those sports bras that dig in and itch over time. Like throughout your day, you're like, oh my God, I really do feel like this is true to size. And especially because it is technically non-adjustable, you cannot adjust any straps here. That's where, that's the golden ticket. If you can make a non-adjustable sports bra fit like perfectly like a glove, you're onto something. So yes, yes and yes and yes and yes and yes. This whole set, yes. So their sports bra also has a little bit of differences from the older sports bras. This baby also has just like these new leggings. They have the text going down your, what is this, clavicle area? What is that? Whatever, down the bra strap, okay? So you got the text going down there. Before it was just a shark face, so. They're pretty much kind of making the new camo like the moral, because this is how the moral looks with their logo. So they're kind of making them symmetrical and kind of more cohesive and I guess more detectable as it being the Adapt collection. But either way, I love it. The shark face in the back is white, but on the older one, you pretty much had the seamless gym shark written out that you could not even really see unless you went up close. So. Bottom line, these new camo sets, you can definitely see more of a sharper camo look. It is way more like in contrast in my opinion. It stands out a bit more and the logos obviously stand out quite a bit more too because you do have like boom, jib sharp right now in this really beautiful font. So overall, I would say this is a slight little upgrade, not like it needed work before, but dang, these colors are rich. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the camo, as it is my favorite, like I've said, gives that hourglass look. It is seamless, it is beautiful, and it is 100% my favorite. Until I find something else that they come out with, 
This will forever be my favorite. All right, guys, so next, let's briefly talk about the animal. Oh, there's no surprise that the animal is pretty much my second fave in the Adapt family because it's got the scrunch butt, all right? Like the camo. They are pretty much sisters that are not identical. What's that called? Fraternal? So this one is animal print. We are looking at tomorrow. The black zebra and purple zebra are launching. So right now, I have the black zebra leggings. The sports bra is on its way, so it couldn't make itself known in this video. I'm sorry, but definitely stay posted. I'll have that featured in another video. I hit up their older animal that they came out with, that spotted look that I thought was cheetah and then everybody told me it's a shark print. I mean, I'm really hoping this is zebra and not like something else <laughs> because I, to me it looks like zebra, so I'm going with zebra. So guys, other than the new print, the zebra, if you will, there really is no difference between the animal and the camo. They both have the seamless high-waisted fit. They are still both just the same exact length. You still have the subtle scrunch butt on both. They are both squat proof. They are both A-OK -okay for me in the camel toe department. This is made out of the exact same material as the camo seamless, so there really is no difference whatsoever. Um, and they even now, now that the camo came out with the new logo to match the rest of the collection, yeah, we have the same exact type running straight down your hip. And it also has the matching logo on the right ankle, so all around these sets just match perfectly, just different designs. So, so far they have that nice spotted print, the shark, and zebra, and I'm really curious to see what they come out with in the future. All right guys, so lastly, we're gonna be talking about the new Marl launching tomorrow. So that's what I'm wearing today, the sports bra Marl in powder blue. Ooh, ooh. you know, I gotta say something. This powder blue looks like I'm looking up at the freaking sky and uh, puts me in a damn good mood. So just saying, as far as colors go, we obviously have the powder blue. We have a color called Mallow Purple launching tomorrow. Very beautiful, pretty, like almost pastel-y, super muted purple color, and I really, I love it so much. Fall time purple here. You also have a moss gray and a black launching tomorrow as well. Okay, so as far as the Marl sets go, they are definitely more different, of course, than the Animal and the Camel Seamless. The Marl design as a whole is just a breakup of color. It looks a little textured. You have a lot of like white, almost like that slight staticky look throughout. I really love it. It breaks up what would be just a very, just monotone, one solid color piece and gives it a little something something. So as far as the material goes, it is different than the animal and the camo. You're looking at 64% polyamide, 29% polyester, and 7% spandex. So it's still made of the same material, just different percentages. They feel pretty much the same, I'm gonna say. This just kind of has more of a glossy feel. I don't know why I said glossy. It's like a more of a, 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 a slippery, not slippery, what word am I looking for? It feels more... It has more of like just an overall like smooth feel, I would say. And it partially could be because you don't have really any like jacquard, anything, you know, crazy print or texture like that. So even though these are different in design, there's a ton of similarities to the other two sets that you just saw. First of all, they are both high-waisted, same ribbed band, same exact height of the band. You have the same exact length and same inseam. So basically they fit my five foot three perfectly, just like the others. You still have the same type of compression throughout, the nice medium compression. Uh, you still have a gusset. You can still virtually do and perform different activities like the same all across the board. You can do the same types of things in. Very stretchy, very wicking, squat proof on me. Even the very light purple, this mallow purple is squat proof. There is a difference though. The Marl does not have a scrunch butt. It actually has a raised seam contour down the booter. I like this. It's different enough, but it still kind of has some help in the back end area. Believe it or not, the raised seam kind of helps to tuck in material. So it kind of slightly does the scrunch butt thing where it's kind of 
tucking in material by your rear and I really, I need this. I just do. So you do have the same exact logos as the other two sets that you saw on both the ankle and on the hip. So for me, the biggest differences between this and the other two sets are the fact that this is a little more like mellowed out. Obviously you don't have the crazy like animal designs, the camouflage designs. So this is more, you know, kind of user friendly where you can mix and match. I mean, for crying out loud, like I can match this baby with the nice powder blue color. So if you're looking for sets that you can easily just mix and match and have fun with like that, then definitely the Marl. Okay, that's a, more, a little more mellowed out kind of design. But if you're feeling feisty and you wanna make like a statement, <laughs> animal and camo. <laughs> as far as the Marl sports bra, ooh, this is a really beautiful design. You have a lot of overlay here, so you almost have like two layers. Ooh. So you have a little more sexiness going on with this in terms of strappiness, if you find that sexy. I mean, believe me, the camo and animal, they, they be doing your girl some favors right here. But if you want your back on back day to look extra sexy, the strappy action is where it's at. This is not adjustable either, even though from far away you think it is. <laughs> but it's not, it fits perfectly just like the other ones. Like I'm super comfortable right here, I can move around. It doesn't move anywhere, safe and secure, just like the rest of their sets. You have the same exact ribbed band, the logo straight down the sports bra here. <sighs> nice and sharp. You also have the removable bra pads. It is just a medium support all around. So I think this is really just a sassy design altogether. It's sassy. It's kind of like, I got something to say. Don't you want to know what I have to say? <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea. Oh, we have a bonus piece for my long sleeve wearing gals. I'm definitely one of them. I like to warm up in long sleeves in the fall, in the winter, you don't know. We got the Adapt Tomorrow long sleeve in the mallow purple. So they have matching long sleeves in the marl. They will be having matching long sleeves for the camo, but as far as the animal goes, I do not believe there's gonna be matching long sleeves for that. So if you're a long sleeve wearer, look out. Marl and camo is where you wanna focus. All right, so straight up off the bat, it is made of the same material as the rest of the Marl sets. Um, you have a little bit of that rushed scrunch in the back, almost like the scrunch bums that you saw in the other sets, but it's on your back, I guess, just to kind of give it more of a fitted baby doll look, add in a little bit of something, something, so it's not such a just a plain long sleeve. It's a normal crew neck. It is very stretchy like everything else, so it's very comfortable, but I want to say this right here right now because I have experience with these long sleeves that it does make you sweat. Even though there's a ton of wicking material in this baby, if you really want to warm up at the gym, then wear this long sleeve because it, woo, it, it you kind of like it traps your body heat in a way. So you're gonna you're gonna warm up really fast. So if you're the kind of person who's freezing in the winter, and you just want to get the job done and warm up already, then totally wear this. You will feel it almost instantly. I personally love it because it's comfortable and I like to sweat. When I'm at the gym, I want to warm up as fast as possible. I hate being cold. And actually when I'm cold, I feel like my whole body like is tight and just pulls in different ways and it hurts. So I like being warm. It makes me feel more agile. So you also have the ribbed cuffed bands on the sleeves and stuff. So you can, you can pull this up and make it your own, but overall it's just really is your simple Marl long sleeve design, mix and match. Hello, why not? All right guys, so that was the full little sneak peek of tomorrow's Adapt launch. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it super helpful. As always, like the day of the launch, I will always be posting up in that community tab on YouTube, my Instagram stories, I'll have swipe ups, all that easy access for you guys. So just stay posted on that and set your freaking alarms, girlfriend, because we got some shopping to do. I've been waiting all month for this. So if you love Gymshark as much as I do, then definitely follow your girl on IG, all things fitness, lots of Gymshark. Subscribe so you don't miss out on future Gymshark videos. 
Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all get every single solitary thing you want in this launch. I'm right there with you. Feel free to DM me. Let's chit chat about the launch, during the launch, after the launch, before the launch. Anyways, I'm gonna be around, so hit a gal up. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you in my next video.